How is it going everybody? You're watching The Nabal Tech and today I bring you a totally life-saving video because today I'm gonna teach you how you can transfer all your WhatsApp data from any phone to another. And I mean all your WhatsApp data, like your chats, messages, photos, videos, stickers, audio messages, everything that you may have on your WhatsApp on one phone, you can transfer to any other phone. And yes, this works even if you're doing from iPhone to Android or from Android to iPhone. And even if you wanna transfer from iPhone to iPhone or from Android to Android, this is the best way to do it as well because we know WhatsApp backups generally don't really work, right? So in this video, I'm gonna show you the best way to do it. And honestly, it's the only way I know and I absolutely love it, all right? So without further ado, let's begin. Okay, so for this to work, we will need a computer, as you can see, but don't worry because you don't need a Mac, okay? So this will work on Mac OS, like I'm using right now, but it will also work the exact same way on Windows PC. So no matter what computer you have, I got you covered because it works on any and all computers. And also, the computer doesn't even need to be yours. You can borrow a computer, you can use any computer that you want, okay? And we do need a computer because we're gonna use a software to transfer our, our WhatsApp data, which is called iCareFone for WhatsApp transfer. And of course, I'll have a link in the description down below, so you can go ahead, download and install iCareFone on your computer. And please keep in mind that this video is not sponsored. I'm showing you this because I truly believe this is the only and best way to do it, all right? So uh, after you download and install iCareFone, all you gotta need to do is click on WhatsApp, the first one, and then you're gonna have right here your two phones, the source and the destination. And as you can see, it will transfer between iOS and Android devices. And as I said, this also works for, from iOS to iOS and from Android to Android, Android. So no matter what phone you have, this will work, okay? And right here, uh, before we even start and connect our phones to the computer, what I do recommend is that you follow these steps. So uh, in my case, I have my iPhone as the source device. So my WhatsApp information is right here on my iPhone. So this is my source. And right here is my Android, and my Android is my destination, meaning that my Android is completely blank. It doesn't have any of my WhatsApp information, okay? So very, very important, source and destination. What I do need you to do right now is to remove the SIM card from your source device so the device that you have your WhatsApp data, so remove the SIM card and then put it in your destination device. Okay, so do that right now. I'm gonna do that with you. And just to be very clear, that's my WhatsApp with my information right here on my iPhone, on my source device. Okay, and now I'm gonna remove the SIM card. As you can see, SIM card right here. And then I'm just gonna put it in just like that. So SIM card is in the phone. All I gotta do is connect a cable from the computer to both my phones, and then they'll be recognized right here on the screen, okay? Let me connect them. So as you can see, both phones are connected to the computer, and the software, iCareFone, has recognized both the phones. You don't need to touch the phones anymore. You can leave the phones on the table. So I'm gonna leave them right here on the table. I don't need to touch them anymore. And all I'll do now is through the computer, okay? So leave everything connected, leave both phones connected to the computer and don't touch them. Oh, and I always recommend that every time that you wanna connect your phone to your computer, that you use the authentic original cable that comes in the box, okay? Don't use third-party generic cables because they tend to fail a lot on tutorials like that, all right? So always authentic cables. And very, very important, choose correctly your source phone in your destination phone. So as I said many times, in my case, I'm transferring from my iPhone, so the source is my iPhone, to my Android phone. So destination, Samsung, so Android one, okay? So very, very important. Uh, of course, you can always switch right here, so click here if you wanna switch. But again, in my case, iPhone to Android. And then all I gotta do is click on transfer, and then it's gonna say that the WhatsApp data on the destination device, so on Samsung, will be overwritten. And that's exactly what we want because we have nothing on the Samsung device, it's completely blank, and we wanna override that data with 
the WhatsApp data from the iPhone. So all you got to do is click on continue and then it'll start backing up and then transferring. This process may take a while depending on how many gigs and gigs of files you have on your uh, source device. I don't have quite a lot actually, so it should just take like five minutes or maybe less. But again, depending on the amount of data you have, it may take a while. So all you gotta do now is wait. Okay, so after a few minutes, that's what you'll see. Verify target account, and then you'll kind of activate through iCare phone, okay? So you put your country, your country code, and your phone number, and I'll type it in right now, and then verify, and then continue. Uh, it'll say here that if you have two-step verification that you should disable that, otherwise this process will not work, so I don't, but if you do, disable, okay? And then uh, after this is done, you can re-enable again, because of course it's a very important safety feature, okay? So uh, let's continue. And then uh, it, it'll send a text message to the phone. Uh, so then continue once again, and it'll start verifying, and then it'll wait for the code. And then go ahead and look at your phone because you received the text message on the phone. So look for that message. And then all you gotta do is type it in. Uh, so then I'll type it in right now. And then I'll, I can click on verify, all right? So then it's verifying. Then it'll take just a second, verifying, let it work, let it do its thing. And then as you can see, it will generate the data and then transfer the data. So what I do recommend is, is you just wait, wait a few seconds, because after that's done, I'm gonna show you that on my Android phone, on my destination phone, I'll have every single thing that I had on my iPhone, which was my source phone, and that this works absolutely perfectly. So again, let's just wait. In my case, it's already almost at half, at 50%, but again, as I told you, this may depend on your device and on how many gigs and gigs and gigs and files you may have. In my case, it's pretty fast. And so we're done, as you can see, transfer successfully it's naturally a typo it should be transfer successful but anyway we're done with the process so we can finally remove the cable from the destination phone of course we can remove from the source phone as well but what we want is the information to be here so what you gotta do is go to the play store and install whatsapp and if you're doing this on an android phone there's actually an extra step that we need to do and i'm going to show you that right now okay so if the destination phone is an android there's an extra step that we're going to follow right now so it's installing as you guys can see let's just wait a second and then i'll be back now all you got to do is go to your settings it's very important to go to your settings now okay and then scroll right here on the first screen so we're going to scroll all the way down to apps apps so tap on apps and then scroll all the way down once again to look for WhatsApp. So as you can see, WhatsApp right here. Tap on that, and then we're gonna go to permissions. Tap on permissions, and then as you can see, there are no permissions allowed, but we need to allow storage. We need to tap on storage and allow management of all files because right doing by doing this, we're actually gonna be able to recover all the information that iCare phone transferred from the source device to the destination device, okay? So allow, now we can come back, and as you can see, storage all files is allowed. And then we're pretty much done now, bear with me, and then uh, let's go ahead, open up WhatsApp now with the permission of storage, and then agree and continue. I'm gonna type in my cell phone, and then tap on next, and then okay. So normal activation process, I'm just activating once again, and then probably it's gonna ask me to call me. I'm gonna need to ask it to call me because since I just activated a few times, WhatsApp is full of security. So I'm gonna need to ask for it to call me and then get the code. Okay, so I got the code. So I just type it in and that's it. So then it's very fine once again. And then here's the important part. So I'm gonna need to actually continue so it will find the backup. So continue because the backup is the files that iCare phone put right here, okay? And then allow, 
and then it's looking for backups. And then right here, it got a backup 24 minutes ago, which was that this software did. So restore, and then it's preparing to restore and all. It's very fast, actually. I'm not even gonna skip it. You're gonna need to type at to tap once again at restore, and then uh, preparing to restore messages. Just wait. Again, just takes a few seconds, and then everything was rest restored. So next, I'm just gonna put in my name. So Daniel. Next, and then it's initializing, and as you can see, I'm just gonna put it at never done and it's right here guys all my information is right here exactly as it was on my source phone which was my iphone everything is right here all my data everything there are no gimmicks uh there are no uh, uh scams i'm not trying to fool you or anything like that it works perfectly as you guys can see i'm just not gonna open the conversation and uh open the my personal information because it's my personal information but you could see that it's exactly the same this the exact same thing you can actually come back to that part where i show you this exact same screen with all my chats and you'll see that those are the exact same chats uh, apart from one or two that i have archived that are now showing up all right so that's it guys that's exactly what i wanted to show you how you can actually transfer all your whatsapp data from any phone to any phone using iCare phone again this video is not sponsored so i'm, I'm going to be completely clear with you guys you can go ahead and check it out and download in the description down below iCare phone there is a free trial so you can download it and do I believe you can do everything that I did in the free trial, but there is also a full version, a uh, paid version, so you can actually pay if you want to, you can check it out right there, right? So that's pretty much it, and I'll see you on my next video as usual. Bye-bye.